Thank you very much for being here with us and worshiping with us. My name is uh, Father Michael Anderson. I'm the rector at St. Columba's. Uh, tonight is a contemplative form of worship uh, modeled on the worship of the Taze community. The music consists of repeated refrains so that we can let the words settle into our hearts. Enter into the prayer in whatever way you're comfortable with. Sing along, light a candle, listen, and pray. Thank you for being with us. We'll begin after a few moments of silence. Um.
Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father.
as is our tradition, we will be reading this Palm Sunday, the Passion of Christ. And we'll be reading specifically Mark chapter 15, verses 1 through 39. In Mark's telling of the gospel, Jesus is shown as the suffering servant, rejected, condemned, beaten, insulted, and mistreated by various groups. To set the scene, Jesus gathers with his disciples for the Last Supper, where he blesses the bread and wine and invites the disciples to take, eat, this is my body, and take, drink, this is my blood. He also predicts that he will be betrayed and denied. After the meal, Jesus and the disciples go to the Garden of Gethsemane, and Jesus prays. As he prays, Judas brings a crowd armed with swords and clubs. Jesus is arrested and taken to the high priest to be judged. We take up the story at this point. As soon as it was morning, the chief priest held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered him, You say so. Then the chief priests accused him of many things. Pilate asked him again, Have you no answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further reply so that Pilate was amazed. Now, at the festival, he used to release a prisoner for them, anyone for whom they asked. Now a man called Barabbas was in prison with the rebels who had committed murder during the insurrection. So the crowd came and began to ask Pilate to do for them according to his custom. Then he answered them, Do you want for me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that the chief priest had handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have them release Barabbas for him, for them instead. Pilate spoke to them again. Then what do you wish me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted back, Crucify him! Pilate asked them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him! So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them. And after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers led him into the courtyard of the palace, that is, the governor's headquarters. And they called together the whole cohort. And they clothed him in a purple cloak. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him. And they began saluting him, Hail, King of the Jews! They struck his head with a reed, spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the founder of Alexander and Rufus. Then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them casting lots to decide what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two bandits, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha! You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. 
In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him among themselves and saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of the Jews, come down from the cross now so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lemma shabbatani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he is calling for Elijah. And someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, and put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two, from top to bottom. Now when the centurion who stood facing him saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, Truly this man was God's son.
in just a moment, we're going to have a short time of silence. And you can do what you would like with that, with that time of silence. Um, I will start it by using a chime to begin, and then I will end our time with the same chime. Trusting in God's promise to reconcile all things, let us pray for the church, the well-being of creation, and a world in need. Blessed one, as we enter Holy Week, prepare us to bear witness to Christ's suffering and death endured for our sake. Gather your people around the cross and comfort us with resurrection hope. God of grace, hear our prayer. Renew your whole creation and protect the balance of life on earth. Encourage the work of foresters, scientists, arborists, and gardeners. Send relief to areas affected by storms, wildfires, earthquakes, or other natural disasters. God of grace, hear, hear our prayer. Establish peace and justice among the nations and bring an end to violence and bloodshed in our communities, our country, and our world. Hold to account any with the authority to judge others. Grant that courts, legislatures, and local governments serve with integrity and compassion. God of grace, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Give energy and joy to pastors, deacons, worship leaders, and musicians in this holy time. Bless baptismal candidates, their sponsors, complement, and teachers. Our times are in your hand, O God. Sustain us in discipleship throughout our lives, and at the end, receive us into everlasting life. God of grace, hear, hear our prayer. Bring hope to any who feel forsaken or forgotten. Make a way for refugees and asylum seekers. Reunite families enduring separation. We pray for any who are incarcerated, institutionalized, or in foster care, that they may know your love. Comfort those who are suffering in body, mind, or spirit especially those with serious illness and all who are in hospice or nearing the end of life. God of grace, hear, hear our prayer. Let us pray as Jesus taught us, saying, Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory 
forever and ever. Amen. Accompany us on our journey, God of grace, and receive the prayers of our hearts. We entrust ourselves in all these prayers, spoken and unspoken to you, the one who knows our every need. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As we go into these meditative songs, I want to encourage you, light a candle, offer a prayer, reflect on what you've heard, or sing along during the songs, however you feel like. Right.
thank you for joining us and for singing with us and worshiping and meditating. As you go, I pray that the God of grace is present to you.